This is Cheryl Ann Amendola of TeachingHistoryHerWay.com, and I'm here to give you a quick tutorial about how to use Mute Tab for breakout groups for distance learning. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to the Chrome Web Store to download the Mute Tab extension. It looks like this. Once you have the Mute Tab extension installed, you should find it in your extensions toolbar up here. My mute tab happens to be right here, and it looks like a little speaker with an X. Before you start your breakout groups, the first thing that you need to do is you need to compile a list of Google Meet addresses for your students to go to. I would normally put these in a Google Doc and label them Discussion Group 1, and then put in the address. Discussion Group 2, and then put the Google Meet address. Discussion Group 3, and the Google Meet address. And I would do as many breakout groups as I felt that I needed. Then I would assign each student to breakout group one, two, three, or four. Once I'm in a Google Meet and I've assigned all of my students to a distance learning Google Meet space, I can enter all of the Google Meet spaces that I've assigned. So let's start with just two. The more Google Meets you open, the slower your computer tends to go. While I'm waiting for that one to open, I'm going to mute myself in this one. Okay. Now I'm in two Google Meets. Great. The next thing I would do is I would wait for my Google Meets to populate. Once they're populated, I can mute whichever tab I'm in. So now there's an M up here that you can see right up there. That means that this tab is muted. I won't be able to hear the kids that are speaking in this tab, but I will be able to hear the kids that are speaking over here in this one. When I'm ready to listen to the other group, I'll mute this tab and I'll unmute this one. Super quick and super easy. This is one of the best extensions that I've found to help me with student engagement. Just remember, assign the Google Meet spaces, the Google Meet links before your class and make sure that the students have access to them in whatever system it is that you're using to disseminate information.